right, so I'm about six foot one in, tall, in height, okay? And I wanna show you, I'm sitting right in the middle right now in the back seats. Now, what I wanna explain to you is that there's a lot of headroom up here, look at that. That's your headroom on a guy that's six foot one. Now, if you're six foot seven, six foot eight, yeah, you're up in the wind, you're up in the ceiling there, okay? But uh, you know, if you got a tall child, or, or you know, if you're six foot one or six two, six three, I think you're going to be okay, because there's at least I'd say about three or four inches there before I hit the ceiling. So that's pretty nice. So let's move the camera around real quickly. Take a look. That's your cockpit. Okay. This is where you're going to drive this awesome minivan okay again i get excited about the honda odyssey because i have kids i know how it is and uh you know moms and dads want to be cool driving a minivan and my wife has always said chad if we ever buy a minivan it'll be a honda odyssey okay and uh, of course we still haven't bought a minivan yet but this is a great traveling vehicle okay let's take a look right up top here on the roof because i want to briefly just take a look at the fit and finish of this navigation system uh, one thing i can tell you that's nice is it's not too big and bulky coming off the uh, the roof line there looks like we got a nice big speaker right here and i love these digital gauges over here for temperature on both sides okay which i don't see one over there but i do see one over here um, I'm not seeing if we got LED lighting. Not sure why they're not cutting on right now other than maybe because I have the door open over there. But one thing I can tell you is that's a really nice big display screen. It's widescreen, it's huge. I mean, that's, that's great for watching some movies, isn't it? Wow, pretty sweet. Now you may be thinking to yourself, where do we plug in for passengers in the back for USBs and all that? Of course, it'll be right down here. As you can see there, you have an HDMI port and two 2.5 volt USBs, which is great for charging things and just getting good power to your devices. Very nice. Up front, you're gonna notice a few things, and I'll zoom in here so we can take a look. But right down there, you will have your uh, Blu-ray DVD player for back here. You have a 12 volt outlet on the left-hand side, and then a 115 volt, 150 watt outlet it's pretty much just like what you have in your home which is my favorite feature because you can plug in cameras and different things to charge up and uh, you know if you do tailgating or just having a fun lifestyle heck you never know what you could plug in right there to um, make use of I know uh, you know last year we had Hurricane Matthew that hit Charleston and I used that outlet on my vehicle to even run the lights a couple lights in my house which was so helpful during a storm when we were out of power for you know four to five days okay I mean I let the car run out there in the driveway a little bit and, and you know at nighttime let the kids have a little light let them charge up their devices things like that so you'd be so surprised on how helpful your car really can be in situations like that 